Today we are going to learn our unit 2.6 poem Money written by William H. Davis. William H. Davis was born on 3rd July 1871 and died on 26th September 1940 at the age of 69. He was a village poet and writer who spent a major part of his life as a tramp in the UK and the USA. After many years of wandering as a peddler and street singer in England, he published his first volume, The Souls, Destroyer and Other Poems. Some of his most famous work includes Leisure, The Rain, The Plain Life, The Moon and When the Cuckoo Sings. Money by William H. Davis is a poem of five stanzas that deals with the dual aspect of money. Let us see the first stanza of the poem. When I had money, money oh, I knew no joy till I went poor. For many a false man as a friend came knocking all day at my door. The rhyme scheme of this stanza is A-A-B-A. -A -A. Now here in this stanza, the poet is recalling about his past time when he has money and his friends come for money to him and not to see him. Here he tell us about the past of the poet when he still has much money and was rich. When one lost money, then only he realized the importance of the money and the importance of the people in his life. So, the poet to realize the actual joy and happiness of life once he lost money. Once he become poor, he found true happiness. In past, he has many friends, but not a real friend. This means that those people just be a good friends when they want his money. His happiness with many friends is untrue because actually his money is his friend. When he was rich, he was surrounded by many fake friends and those fake friends always come to him for his money. They were not true friends. Let us see the poetic device of the first stanza. When I had money, money oh. Here we can see the poet express his strong emotion about money. So exclamation is there. For many false man as a friend. Here a false man is directly compared to a friend with the use of the word as. So simile is there. Alliteration is also there because the repetition of the consonant sounds at the beginning of the word are there for poetic effect. We can see the repetition of the sound of F in the word false, friend and for. Consonance is also there because the repetition of the consonant sound in the line in the end and middle of the word to create poetic effect can be found in this line. So here the repetition of the consonant sound N is there in the words many and men. For many a false man as a friend came knocking all day at my door. If we take both these lines together, we can see inversion is there because the order of the words has been rearranged for poetic effect. The correct order should be for many a false man came knocking at my door as a friend all day. Let's see the last line. Came knocking all day at my door. Here we can see the repetition of the consonant sounds at the beginning of the words are there for the poetic effect. So here the repetition of the sound of D can be seen in the word day and do. So alliteration is
let us see the second stanza then felt i like a child that holds a trumpet that he must not blow because a man is dead i dared not speak to let this false world know the rhyme scheme of this stanza is c a d a now here the poet gave money to his friends he kept silent while giving them money and here he felt like a child who has a trumpet but the child cannot play it whenever he wants because it will cause noise and disturbs the silence similarly the poet do not have freedom to let other know about such friends he could not reveal about his opportunist friends so he has to maintain silence to keep his friends prestige and privacy here man is dead symbolizes silence the c the poetic device in the very first line then felt i like a child that holds we can see that if we arrange the words in a correct order the order should be then i felt like a child that holds so inversion is there as a poetic device also the repetition of consonant sound l is there in the end and the middle of the word to create a poetic effect so consonance is there if we take these two lines together then felt i like a child that holds a trumpet that he must not blow here we can see the poet has directly compared himself to a child that holds a trumpet that he must not blow with the use of the word like so simile is there because a man is dead i dared here the repetition of consonant sound of d is there at the beginning of the words so alliteration is there in the last line not speak to let this false world know we can see the poet has used the word world to mean the people in the world the word world is closely associated with the people who live in the world let's move to the third stanza much have i thought of life and seen how poor men's hearts are ever light and how their wives do hum like bees about their work from morn till night here the rhyme scheme is e f g f now in this stanza the poet has experienced the poor man's life that it is happier their heart are always light they are poor but they enjoy life they are free from all tensions of life they have real friends and are satisfied with what all they have in their life they have no high expectation no dream they work hard to make their day and earn money but they are not greedy to store money they don't have fear of losing money so their heart were not overburdened with worries anxieties and tension their wife also assist them in work they help them from morning till night they cope up with small income of their husband and run their family overall poet feels that poor people despite of all hard situation are more happier than rich people let's move to the poetic devices in the very first line we can see the order of the words has been rearranged for poetic effect 
the correct order should be i have thought much of life and seen so inversion is there in the second line there is a repetition of the consonant sound h in the words how and hearts at the beginning of the words so alliteration is there cynic dicky is also there in the second line in the third line the wise have been directly compared to bees with the use of the word like so simile is there onomatopoeia can also be found in the third line because the word hum denotes the sound made by the wives as they constantly talk about their husband working from morning till night alliteration is also there because we can find the repetition of consonant sound h at the beginning of the words how and hum in the last line two opposite words morn and night have been used in the same line to show that the poor men work all day long so antithesis is there let's move to the fourth stanza so when i hear these poor ones laugh and see the rich ones coldly frown poor men think i need not go up so much as rich men should come down the rhyme scheme of this stanza is h i j i here the smile of poor man is satisfactory they have real love in life whereas rich man crumbles they do not have real love in life they do not have real happiness they are burdened with demands of life here the poet wants to tell us that poor people need not want to be rich but the rich people must be poor rich people must know what poor life is they should experienced what poverty is so when rich people loses prosperity it would not make them difficult to tackle that situation it would be easy for them to deal with the condition here poet wants to tell us that rich man do not have hope and desire they just ran after to earn more money so they should know about poor man's life so they can to adjust in their life let's come to the poetic devices in the first line again the order of the words has been rearranged for poetic effect the correct order should be i think poor men need not go up so inversion is there also we can see alliteration here because there is a repetition of the sound of n in the words neat and not metaphor is also there because there is an indirect comparison between becoming rich and going up in the next line so much as rich men should come down again there is a repetition of the sound of m in the words much and men so alliteration is there metaphor is also there because there is an indirect comparison between becoming poor and coming down let us move to the last fifth stanza of the poem when i had money money o oh, my many friends proved all untrue but now i have no money o oh, my friends are real though very few the rhyme scheme of this stanza is a k a k now here in this stanza 
the poet remembers that he had many friends when he had money his friends came to him they took money from him they loved him because of his money they do not love him as a human being they were all untrue friends they were selfish they came to him for their self interest now the poet has no money but now he has very few friends they actually are the true friends they truly love the poet they are the real friends now here the poet tell us about the real friendship a real friend does not expect anything and an untrue friend remain with us to seek some benefit from us untrue friend remain with rich friend to improve their status so now poet celebrates his poverty as a source of true happiness also he enjoys his real happiness of life by having few true friends let us see the poetic devices when i had money money o here the word money has been repeated in the line to highlight the importance of wealth so repetition is there also the poet expresses strong emotions about money in this line so exclamation is also there in the next line the order of the words has been rearranged to create a poetic effect the correct order should be my many friends all proved true so inversion is there the repetition of the consonant sound of m can be seen at the beginning of the words my and many so alliteration is there as a poetic device in the next line again there is a repetition of the sound of n in the words now and no so alliteration is there here the poet again express his strong emotions about money so exclamation is also there as a poetic device in the last line we can see the repetition of the sound of f in the words friends and few so again alliteration is there as a poetic device i hope that you all are able to understand the summary of the poem very well please do like share and subscribe for coming updates thank you